Hey everyone, as you know, I love mini PCs. This is the Apple Mac Mini M4, a powerful little computer in a small form factor. And yes, this is an Apple computer, but I also love mini PCs in the Linux world and in the Windows world. And that's what I have in this box. Inside this box, I have the Minis Forum NEB6 Lite. This is a powerful little versatile mini PC that has Windows 11 installed, but I'm going to be putting Linux onto it. And what I'd like to do today is just have a quick look at the computer. This isn't a complete review, but I'm going to unbox it. So why not unbox it in front of you guys and just talk a little bit about what this little computer is all about. So here it is, my first Minis Forum computer, my first Minis Forum product at all. Now it's worth noting that this currently retails in the UK, the version I have, at £320 on Amazon UK. Now I would have bought it new, I was about to buy it new, but I ended up buying it used from CEX for £265, but £268 after delivery. It is a condition and there wasn't really a big saving with me buying used, but I had a lot of vouchers to use and I decided to use my vouchers. But before I open it, I just want to quickly show you the back here. Any B6 Lite, Intel Core i5 12600H processor, Intel Iris XE graphics, 16 gigabyte of memory, half terabyte of storage and a UK adapter standard plug. Okay, let's get this open. Come on, let's slide this whole thing off. It's a big box when you see it. Oh, it's so big. Look, look at the size of that. Okay, everything looks okay so far. Oh, looks like it's in great condition. Looks brand new, actually. Still got the original stickers and stuff on it. So there's the PC. I'll stick that to the side just for a second. See if what else we get in here. You know, there is a chance that this is new. Okay. It's got the manual. Now there is a chance that uh, this is new. So in, if you're not from the UK, CEX is a used shop. It's like a used goods. Everyone sells their electronics, etc. there. But I have bought some things from that shop before, which are 100% new. And what happens is that sometimes in the UK, if they ca cannot sell their stock, then they'll sometimes sell their stock to a company such as CEX, which means that for people like us, we can buy those products new for a reduced price. Okay, let's get this open. So this is the power adapter and you can see it's still got all the wrapping around it. Nice, and you can see 120 watts. Should be able to see that there if we get in focus. Then we have a very short HDMI cable that is one meter long. Doesn't look like it's the best HDMI cable, but it's not something that a lot of companies actually throw in when you buy a computer. So that's a nice little bonus. We've got some screws here. So in the manual, it shows you what is included in the package, but this little adapter is not listed. But if you open it up, you should be able to see, let this open here, that this is an adapter that allows you to connect a 2.5 inch SSD. And finally, we have a Visa mount, and you can see that there are additional visa mount mounting screws in there so i will talk about the computer itself next but before i do i want to summarize what you get in the box so this is the user manual it talks about the package contents shows you the ports and then it talks more about each of those ports the interfaces etc we also have a visa adapter with mounting screws 
We also have other screws here, which look like they are for a 2.5 inch SSD. And then we've got the adapter for the 2.5 inch SSD. It's not mentioned in the manual, but it is included. We've then got a, a one meter long generic HDMI cable. I'm not complaining about that HDMI cable because most computers now don't come with one. And then we've got the power adapter. Really nice cable here. We've got a cable tie, 120 watts, minis forum. Nice little power adapter. So I'm very confident at this stage in saying that this is brand new. It's unused stock that was sold to CEX. So I would have bought it new from Amazon, but I did have CEX vouchers to use. And it looks like I've still managed to buy a new Minis Forum computer for about £50 or so cheaper than what I would have paid on Amazon. So I'm very happy about that. So this is the Minis Forum NAB6 Lite. And it looks fantastic in my opinion. It's got that Apple-esque brushed metal look. So let's have a look around it. You can see we've got some ventilation at the sides and that side and at the bottom as well. So hopefully it's cooled okay and it's not too noisy. Let's get zoomed in and look at the porch. So at the left hand side we actually have here first is a digital microphone. We've got a Type-C port which is USB 3.2 Gen 1. We've got two USB 3.2 Type-A ports. Then we've got the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, power, and then clear CMOS. And on the other side, we've got two more USB type A ports. These are USB 3.2. We've got two HDMI here. It doesn't say what it is even in the official documentation, but from what I've seen online, those are HDMI 2.1. We have display port type C. We have USB 3.2 type C. Also got the DC 19 volts barrel connector, Kensington lock, another vent. But the thing that really dominates the port selection here for me is the dual 2.5 gigabit ethernet. That's excellent and it's really useful for me. That's one of the reasons I bought it because I think even if I'm not using it as a mini PC, later on I'll be able to use it in my network. So really nice port selection, but the most obvious thing here is that there is no USB 4, no Thunderbolt 3, 4 or 5, which means no eGPUs or you know, kind of limits your expansion options. But for me, that's okay because for what I'm using it for, what I'm going to use it for, that is not an issue. Now, as far as weight goes, I weighed this in at 615 grams, which is one pound 5.7 ounces. Now, at a glance, you really can't tell the difference size-wise between these two. They, they kind of look the same size. But if you put them on the side here, you'll see that the Minis Forum is marginally taller. It's a little bit taller. Yeah, it is bigger. There's no denying it. But at a glance, if you just looked at them, you probably wouldn't notice a big difference. So they're kind of in the same category size-wise. And, you know, the Apple Mac Mini is a little bit heavier, but there's not a lot in it. So, yeah, this is the Minis Forum NAB six light really really nice and one of the things that i really do like about it is how easy it is to work with you can see that it's saying here to open the top cover by pressing it with your hands look at that don't have to get a screwdriver so it just pops open i really do like that and that allows us to see what's inside and if i increase that i'll be able to see better myself so here we have if you go look at it there lift this maybe we can see it better it's there a mediatek model mt7921 that is a wi-fi 6 adapter not 6e i believe you can change that for another one if you want and just install a different adapter and get wi-fi 7 if you wish you just have to find the right driver over here we've got the ssd one of the things i like about this is that it comes with its own heat sink and the heat sink has a fan how cool is that? That means that you could put in a really fast Gen 4 SSD and it's going to be kill, uh, killed. It's going to be cooled. It's not going to be killed. It's going to be not killed. It's going to be cooled. So I like the fact that they've got uh, a heat sink here and they've got a heat sink with a fan built in. That's a really nice addition. We've obviously got the adapter there for our SSD. And then finally, we have dual channel DDR4 
so them RAM. So we've got two eight gigabyte modules. Now I'm going to be putting my own one terabyte drive in here or two terabyte drive. I'm going to stick with eight gigabytes of memory initially, but I may upgrade it. It's going to maybe go up to 64, but what I'm going to do first is set it up. And then once I've set it up, see you know, what my resources are using. I think at the very least I'll upgrade to 32, but I might push it up to 64 to the maximum. So to put it into perspective as to what I'm using this for, the, yes, this comes with Windows 11. And what I set up is, you know, Windows 11 just checks some things. But I'm going to be setting this up with Linux because I'm using it for a crypto validator project. So the idea with this is that I'm going to be setting up, I'm going to be putting uh, Ubuntu, was it 22 on it? I'm going to be getting it set up using it for a safe coin validator and it's going to be running 24 hours a day. So I might not be pushing it graphically. I might not be pushing the CPU that high. This is actually overkill for what I'm going to be using it for, but it gives me a lot of room to grow. And the good thing about that Intel i5 chip is that it, it doesn't have a lot of power draw. So if you're running at 25 uh, 25, 25 hours a day. No, if you're running at 24, 7, 24 hours a day, you shouldn't get a, a lot of power draw, which matters if you're running things, you know, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So that's one of the selling points of this chip. It's got the efficiency cores and it drops down the, the, the power draw. So I'll leave some links to uh, the website so that you can check out and learn more about it. I'll leave a link to the Amazon page, etc., as well. This has not been a review. This has just been a quick look at the Minis Forum NAB6 Lite. My first look, my first ever Minis Forum computer. It looks really good. I'm looking forward to trying it. I can't say much more at this point beyond referring you to the specifications page and just saying that from a hardware point of view, I think this looks really good. I think it looks, you know, kind of the same build quality as an Apple Mac, maybe not as heavy, but it looks really good. And I'm very happy with the purchase at this point. But will I be happy later? Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to test it. I'm going to have to test a lot of things, download drivers, get Linux set up and try it out. But first impressions are very positive. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions, please do leave them down below and I'll do my best to respond to them. And until next time, take care.